Hi guys, I'm here today quickly to talk about the 1080p update to YouTube. They're now saying full HD quality for YouTube, which is good because that means it's a higher resolution, the picture quality of videos on YouTube will be considerably better. But I'm here to show the things you'll need to upload in 1080p for when it happens, like this is like a guide to uploading in HD, and also what what the advantages and disadvantages are of uploading to YouTube in either 720p or 1080p. So the news today is that they're upgrading to 1080p HD next week. So that this is as of 13th November, so next week sometime, late November 2009. This is a little um, comparison here. This is the standard 360p format, high quality 480p format. HD 720p and finally the 1080p so you do get much more resolution there so what you'll need to upload in HD obviously if you're uploading in 720p HD you'll need a 720p capable HD camcorder they're reasonably cheap now or this but this is going to be a guide about uploading in 1080p and the advantages and disadvantages basically so for a full HD camera you're going to need 1080p which is the the highest quality which you can really view at this point in time. Uh, the, one of the cheapest 1080p camcorders you can buy is the Kodak ZI8 or ZI8 HD camcorder. It has image stabilization, macro mode, and SD card slot for you to store your videos on. So this is a pocket camcorder. It's £115 on Amazon in the UK and $146 in the US on Amazon.com. It's one of the cheapest you can get, really, within the, within this sort of price range. You can get lots of more expensive bits of kit as well, but for full HD 1080p, this is one of the cheapest you can get. So, this is a little comparison here of the resolutions. This is DVD quality 480p. This is like standard definition. You see this darkest box here. This is 720p, which is better. And you can see 1080p is actually a whole lot different to 720p. You do see you do see that a lot, but that means a few disadvantages like file size, uploading, and streaming. So when you're on YouTube, the player is actually quite small, and the 720p viewing is actually all right as it is. You only really notice the difference of 720p and 1080p if you put it in full screen and you have a large monitor. I'm doing this on an 18.5 inch Acer monitor, so full 1080p wouldn't actually show up properly on my monitor because my monitor is only 720p resolution. But if I showed this on my 26 inch Samsung TV, it's only a 720p TV, but still there would be not much difference. If it was a full HD TV and it was that size, you wouldn't notice much difference because it's small. If you get, say, a 50-inch TV and you have it 720p, it will look really bad compared to the 1080p because it's stretched out. 1080p will make it look a lot better, but with small screens, such as you'll get on monitors on computers, up to, say, 24 or maybe 27 on a computer, some people use 30-inch monitors, but if you're using that, if you're using a normal size monitor roughly between the 18-inch and 23-inch region, maybe, then you won't actually notice the difference really between 720p HD and 1080p HD because the screen size is too small even though the resolution is large it will just make things look smaller so that's the one downside to having full HD because it doesn't actually really make much difference on the computer if you're watching YouTube a lot on your maybe home cinema like a huge TV or projector or something then you'll notice a difference and that's where the new HD quality 1080p on YouTube will really come out and shine also another bad thing is streaming I'm gonna go on this video here it's not HD but it'll give you an idea you can see here obviously when you get to a video it starts loading and as it starts loading you can see it going up this is just a high quality this is 480p quality I believe so you can see it you can see it going up as it's because it's quite a long video this one and you can see it gradually loading as it's streaming the data so the only problem is is people with slower connections will have trouble 
because if you've got a slower connection, some people even complain that 720p HD on YouTube, as it is now, takes too long to load and is jumpy with their connection. If I went on one of my videos, say, all of my, well, roughly all of my videos, apart from the ones that are done by webcam, are HD. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go on this one, for instance. This is a HD video. So it's HD now. And you can see it's loading. But some people say that, obviously, with longer videos, longer HD videos, if I go on quite a long one, this one, this is a full 10 minute video. So let's go in HD for this. You can see the loading time is a lot slower than that of the shorter video. And if you're watching a long HD video and your connection is not that good, then it takes a long time to load and it causes it pausing and you'll often see the horrible loading screen, the little the little loading wheel here. And you'll have to wait for the next bit of the video to load. The problem with these connections is that it will get even worse with 1080p content. If you're using 1080p content, then that means that it will take a lot longer to load on slower connections. The one upside to this though is that connection speeds are increasing over the years and all of the internet service providers are upgrading their technology all the time to try and provide faster speeds at lower prices. So lots more people will be upgrading their connections in the coming future, which means that maybe video streaming won't be so much of an issue and you won't get those comments on your video saying I can't watch it because it's HD and it's taking too long to load for me. I know some guy who had a video, he was trying to watch a video on YouTube, it was about 6 minutes long and it was 720p HD and it took 20 minutes for him for the video to load so with people who have connections like that obviously 1080p viewing is going to be even more of a problem and you'll reduce the audience you're getting your video out to but not hugely because most people have very reasonable connections these days and especially in I'm in the UK and in the UK the connection speeds are fairly low in the US and in Japan especially the connection speeds are a lot higher so some of your audience will still be fine also uploading times it, when you're uploading obviously it does take a while to upload a HD video compared to a normal video sometimes it takes a few minutes for a standard definition video sometimes it takes about 15 minutes for a 720p HD it could take somewhere up to an hour with a slow connection for 1080p content which is a downside but once the video's up it will be much higher quality as I showed before. Another problem is disk space. HD videos do take up a lot of space for instance I did have up here it's a 10 minute video and the size is 93.9 megabytes so if you round that up to 100 megabytes that would show that 100 megabytes means about 10 videos per gigabyte. Whereas with full HD content, a 10 minute video, like the same sort of time, about 10 minutes, it could be up to one gigabyte uncompressed. Now I'm not saying this off of, like, this is not a fact, this is just a rough estimate, so don't go by me. With external hard drives going so cheap nowadays, this can be easily, easily dealt with and you can have a lot more space for your things. You can get one terabyte hard drives for around, say, £90, say, which is probably about $120 maybe, $110, something like that. And that would mean you'd have a thousand videos. You'd be able to store a thousand videos on that. Or up to 10,000 720p. So there are the advantages and disadvantages to this update and transition for, to 1080p. You can still obviously upload in 720p if you want and if you have actually already uploaded any 1080p content YouTube will automatically re-encode that to, view, to actually be viewed in 1080p. So if you've uploaded anything in the past which is 1080p and you've just left it there it will actually change that to be true 1080p once the update happens sometime next week.